Hey, what's going on guys? Today we'll be looking at Highland Springs Soap Company Tobacco Oud. This was sent by Tim from the Tim Shaves YouTube channel. Thank you, Tim. He also sent the matching splash tobacco Oud from HSSC. All right, uh, I did bloom the puck. You'll see it glistening there. Um, we are going to use the... Pour this water out. <clears throat> uh, we're going to use the uh, Manchurian Badger from QED Select, and we're gonna try something that we uh, haven't tried in quite some time here. It's the uh, 68S from Parker. Now, I think last time I used this razor, I said I was gonna give it away or not use it again or whatever, but um, I have some significant growth going on six days now. And uh, I was like, you know, let me just try it like that. I, I think one of the issues, one of the main issues at least, is the blade sits literally right on, on the the bottom here. Um, there's no gap whatsoever. Um, I mean, you know, maybe a 64th, you know, something like that, but not much gap. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and start loading. Uh, I'm going to give you all the details about Highland Spring Soap Company, this specific scent, their ingredients, that type of thing. Uh, we'll kind of get into that. Um, pricing. Yeah. And uh, I'll kind of tell you about my Denver trip. Because I just I recently got back from Denver. Um, it's Saturday as I'm recording this. Uh, and I got back from Denver. Uh, when did we come back? We came back Thursday. Well, Friday morning, essentially. So, yeah. We'll kind of talk a little bit about that. Nothing. I mean, yeah. Just, I was there for um, <clears throat> IT conference. I'm in information technology. That's my, that's my work. That's my field. And... Um, this was a cybersecurity conference, and uh, well, among other things, but the main the, the main focus point was cybersecurity. But all right, uh, Highland Highland Springs Soap Company or HSSC. As I finish off the load here, very very nice. Load is very easy. Um, it doesn't like a lot of initial water. It gets kind of foamy with initial water, but that that foaminess does go away as you work it. Um, so just start off with maybe a little less water than I have and uh, the initial looking lather won't be as foamy as what you see on my cheek there, but it's it's going to work out perfectly fine. I've used this several times since Tim has sent it. So Highland Spring Soap Company, uh, ingredients, we have uh, beef tallow. When tallow is the first ingredient, you know it's a great shave soap. I mean, you know, look. Are there great shave soaps that don't even use tallow? Absolutely, freaking lutely. But for me, tallow is king. And uh, the gap, the gap is pretty much bridged between non-tallow soaps, you know, vegan or, or vegan soaps and tallow soaps. Just the butters and everything that they use, the artisans use, is phenomenal. And um, but th there's still there's still something about tallow. I don't know what it is. So Highland Spring Soap, uh, beef tallow, stearic acid, shea butter, castor oil, glycerin, sodium lactate, silk peptides, and to tocopherol, tocopherol, something like that. And I actually hadn't seen, hmm, as far as I know, I have not seen that in any other soap base. Now you can see it's nice, dense, creamy lather. My whiskers are popping through since I've, I haven't shaved in a little while, but uh, very, very nice lather. So that's the ingredient for the base. Um, let's go over the, yeah, we'll go over the scent of Tobacco Oud. It's a very, very nice scent. I don't think Tim liked it. Obviously that's why he sent it to me. He bought it and didn't enjoy it, so he sent it to me. He knows I like kind of oud and tobacco type scents. But, uh, beautiful lather, by the way. Uh, the, the tobacco, uh, the scent profile on this is pretty straightforward. It's tobacco, oud, uh, spices, whiskey, <clears throat> and sandalwood. I do get that muskiness, um, I would say. 
from a good sandalwood. Um, I, you know, as far as whiskey goes, I don't. I'm not really. My, my nose really doesn't pick up bourbon or whiskey in most shaving soaps, and I don't pick it up here. Um, this is blended very nicely. I do kind of get a bit of a muskiness from the sandalwood slash oud, um, tobacco for sure, and uh, spices. You know, maybe maybe a little bit. All right, this is a Voskhod in here. So, uh, well, I guess I'm going to need those to read, huh? Uh, all right, so. I just don't like the feel of this. I Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't even mention this. Uh, we're going to be cutting in a goatee today. Um, for, for No Shave November. Actually, you know what? I can't. I can't have something I've got to be in that I can't have any facial growth. Okay, we're not participating as far as my face. I will donate, though. Um, darn. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, this isn't feeling good, so I thought maybe with a whole bunch of growth, you know, hey, it might work work out. Nah, 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 this razor's garbage. Okay, um, if you like it, cool, but uh, for me, no bueno. Okay, um, so I'm going to use that same Voskhod blade, and we'll put that in um, the Razor Company's razor, because I know I have no issue whatsoever with the Razor Company's razor. Uh, so the, the pricing for Highland Company, so... Uh, Highland, Highland Springs Soap Company. Uh, it is nineteen dollars for four ounces. That comes out to four dollars and seventy-five cents an ounce. So not on the cheap side, but also kind of like that mid-range. You know, um, not super expensive, not uh, not super cheap either. I would say it's decent value. I wouldn't say it's great value, but it's decent value. Shoot, I really wanted to, uh... oh my God, that's so much better. Yeah, way better. Yeah, you know, $19 for a soap, eh. It's average, I would say, at this point in the wet shaving community. Uh, the splash itself, by the way, is seventeen dollars. Um, and the scent strength. So one thing I really like about the soap is, unlathered, the scent strength is actually above mid range. It's about six, um, and when lathered, it bumps up to about a seven. So I really, really do enjoy this scent. It's a scent that I really like. And the fact that the scent strength is high enough for me, um, you know, for, for what I enjoy the most, I, uh, I really like this, you know. I think the only other Highland Spring Soap Company soap that I've used, um, oh, shoot, it was a uh, sample. What was the name of that? I don't remember the name of it. It was a sample, though. That I purchased, I think, from Maggard's way back when. Or maybe a lingual file sent that to me. But in any case. I'm going to rinse out the sink because all that growth that was here is now in the sink. Um, Alright, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it on the, you know, the base, as far as the base goes. It's a great base. The aftershave feel is very, very good. Uh, the scent is subjective, but for me, this specific scent and the last one I looked at, or uh, the sample I had, was actually very good as well. So yeah, uh, I'm I'm two for two for Highland, um, and uh, very just very, very good all around. So let's talk about the trip a little bit. So yeah, Denver, Colorado. 
Going there, we uh, went from New Orleans to uh, Houston. It was a layover. And then from Houston to Denver. Uh, from the Denver airport, uh, picked up a taxi. Or taxi picked up us, whatever. And brought us to the Grand Hyatt in Denver. I think that's considered downtown Denver, but I could be lying to you because I'm not familiar with the area. And the, 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 whole, the whole conference and everything was basically in the Grand Hyatt. Um, all the meetings, everything, everything was there, the whole seminar. So it was very convenient, very nice. They actually had decent food, you know, um, we ate, uh, Breakfast and lunch there every day. Um, dinner was served there the first night, but then after that we had to get our own dinner, um, which was fine. Uh, went to a couple places. I have a couple pictures. I might input them here or just on Instagram. But um, yeah, I mean, just overall a really, really nice experience. As Denver, Denver as a whole is what I'm saying. I mean, the IT conference was the IT conference. I learned some new things how to better implement some things, et cetera, et cetera. But I mean, uh, overall, you know, the IT conference is just work stuff, right? But as far as Denver goes, um, unfortunately we didn't get to go out too much. Uh, we started at 7.30 in the morning and it ran until 5.30 uh, in the afternoon. So it was literally a work trip. Um, <clears throat> we did get breaks throughout the day. You know, like I said, we did get breakfast in the morning and lunch. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was work. You know, we were sitting there listening. Um, I brought a Rhodia dot pad, um, and a retro 1951 tornado, I think is what it was, uh, gel pen. And, uh, basically, uh, the gel pen was run out. I mean, this is a brand new, uh, thing too. Uh, brand new cartridge. The second day that ran out, I had to start using other pins that vendors had, you know, just marketing type stuff, which I hate. I hate mm, nothing. I hate more than uh, than a rollerball. Just my preference, but still. Um, but yeah, the Rodeo dot pad. I think it's 80, 80 sheets in the Rodeo dot pad, and uh, I went through probably fifty of them. So. There's just a lot of information and most of it, in all honesty, you know, most of the vendors there are kind of going over things that you already have implemented, but they've added features or they've, they, they've, they've done this or they've done that to make it just a little bit better. And you know, how do we implement that since we've already got it pushed out to our clients, et cetera, et cetera. A little irritation there, I guess. Um, anyway, so yeah, it was, it was very informative, uh, like super, you know, the, the mental aspect of it was just crazy. What the heck happened there? Anyway. Yep. Didn't really get to go around Denver too much, unfortunately. Didn't get to see too much of the city or any anything in Colorado, to be quite honest. Uh, flying in Tuesday morning, though, um, you know, real nice view of the mountains and, and whatnot uh, flying into Denver. Uh, just, you know, very cool overall. But, uh, yep. Enjoyed myself for sure. Oh, well, hope you guys have uh, enjoyed your week and your shaves if you've had any. I could do another pass, but don't really feel like it to be honest with you. Kind of upset about the whole Parker 68S thing. Still. Me, me trying to use it again today, kind of like, I guess reaffirmed my initial 
Uh, my initial thoughts of it, it sucks. Um, hey, the Razor Company towel. Let's use it. Very nice towel. I don't know what happened. It's not bleeding anymore. As soon as I put splash on it, it's gonna bleed though. Oh, you know what? I don't think I don't think that uh, HSSC has alcohol in it because when I'm using this, I've never gotten burned. Yeah, there's no alcohol in this. It's witch uh, water, obviously witch hazel, aloe vera, um, some vitamin V, glycerin, uh, silk peptide, rice protein. Vitamin E and uh, some preservative. Hmm. Okay, and obviously scent. Let me shake it up a little bit. I was asked a long time ago, you know, hey, oh, there we go, bleeding again. Why do you shake your splash as well? I don't know. Probably the same reason I shake my ketchup, like before I, you know, put ketchup squirted out of the bottle or anything, really. I mean, barbecue, anything. Um, Separation may occur, you know, I mean The scent might be different if you don't shake it up. I, I don't know Why not? Oh, yeah, very very nice scent My wife is not somebody that likes a tobacco scent. She hates tobacco scent But this is like a sweet musky this is a different tobacco scent, and it's very nice. It's it's kind of complex without being too complex, without being overly complex. It's very it's a very very nice scent. Wonderful. All right. Well, that's the shave, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, you can leave them down below in the comments, or you could email me. My email is down in the uh, description. With some other links as well. If you're going to make purchases at the Razor Company, use my code. My affiliate link's down there. Just click on it. You don't pay any extra. Um, and I get a small kickback. So that helps out as well uh, for purchasing new products, that type of thing. Um, you know what we will do? Uh, we I've got to do this. I've got to do my giveaway for the Rockwell 6S. I've got to do I'm sorry, 6C. I've got to do that. Um, after that, that'll be this month, that'll be in November, and after that, we will do the Parker 68S, if anybody wants it, you know, because if nobody wanted it, I would understand that as well, so, because it is really just garbage, I don't know, man, it's garbage, anyway, alright guys, the dog's barking, it's time for me to go, see you guys next week.